The Page Navigator gives us an overview of all of the pages within our project. It's located in the left toolbar. To select a page, simply click one of the page previews within the Page Navigator. This will highlight it with the blue outline and load the page contents onto the design canvas. Each page preview has two buttons. On the left, a trash button for deleting the page, and on the right, a settings button. It's important to note that the home page for your project will not display a trash button on the left and will instead display a small symbol of a house. This is because the home page of a project, which can be changed in the project settings, cannot be deleted. If I click the settings button, I am presented with a drop down menu. The first option lets me open the page settings, and the second lets me quickly duplicate the page. From the page settings, I can set various attributes for the page, such as the page name, file type, and language. I can also assign important SEO values, such as title and description, and even set up Twitter and Facebook social cards for the page. Pages can also be reordered in the Page Navigator using drag and drop. Or alternatively, you can nudge a page up one space using the keyboard shortcut Control Command Up Arrow or down one space using the keyboard shortcut Control Command Down Arrow. One last thing that is worth mentioning is the fact that the Page Navigator is also searchable. This makes it incredibly easy to find any page in a large project.